Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. This weekend we're going to be at the Amelia Island Concours Delegant starting Wednesday. So if you see me, come up and say hi because I love to meet my subscribers and I think it would be great to meet some of you and see what you, what all of you are driving. And so um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is the difficult and very complicated decision of purchasing a 560 SEC. And so one of our subscribers, Matt, contacted me and I've been exchanging a bunch of emails with them. And uh, this is the part of my job that I really love. You know, communicating with people that are uh, that are watching our videos and learning something, and it makes me feel like I'm doing something really useful and helpful. Matt's interested in buying a 560 SEC, and so one of the cars that had come up for sale was an 87 European spec with option code 822. If you're not familiar with option code 822, it's a high compression version of the M117 5.6 liter engine that develops a true five, true 300 horsepower. And it is really just a, a wonderful thing. But the seller of this car really wanted an insane amount of money. He wanted $12,000 for a car that had a lot of mechanical issues and definitely needed paint work, which I thought was very strong. So uh, I'm basically asking you guys in this video, if you know of a nice 560 SEC that's a dark color like pearl gray metallic, anthracite gray metallic, 040 black, um, or um, uh, you know something in that something in that spectrum, maybe even a silver on black car, let us know because I'm trying to find one for my friend Matt. Uh, of course, the right car is always more important than the cheapest car. So uh, the next thing that I was going to uh, run by all of you was the uh, uh, the results of the 250s appraisal, and I got a lot of I got a lot of positive feedback, and I even had a couple of people call me about that car. So that was really moving and, and stunning. the The thing that we got out of it was it's probably a five thousand dollar car. Now this is actually more than I thought it was worth after looking at the car because the car needed a lot of work. But we sort of agreed at a consensus that the price was between three and seven thousand, or mode. Our mode was between five and six thousand, so five thousand, fifty five hundred, fifty seven hundred, six thousand, forty eight hundred values in that range. So I appreciate all of your feedback. You know, it's really nice to know what all of you, which constitutes the market in economics, thinks about the specific value of the car, which uh, which is basically how values for classic cars are set. They're basically a consensus agreement among people. Anyway. That's all for this video, but keep the comments coming. I want to know what you guys think of 560 SEC values, whether they're going up or whether this is just an illusion, and whether the 560 SEC is really a $10,000 car, a $5,000 car, a $25,000 car, or something else. Thanks for dropping in. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, if you're driving a classic Mercedes, keep driving it. Don't give up. We're here to help. <music>